before this incident, I didn't have near enough respect for electricity. We made contact with the overhead line and that overhead line sent 14,400 volts of electricity through my body in three separate cycles. I thought I wouldn't see my wife again. I'll never see my kids again. I'll never see my mom and dad again. I figured that was it. I was done. I um, noticed my hands and the skin hanging off of my hands. And uh, then I turned around to see where I was. I could see the, the uh, cubicle on fire, flames billowing out. And the difference between going home at the end of a job and perhaps never going home at all can happen in a moment. Working safely on energized electrical equipment and systems means eliminating or reducing the risk of exposure to arc flash and shock hazards. Working safely can sometimes seem slow, but it actually makes you more effective and efficient. Welcome to the Electrical Safety Training System, or ESTS. Risk is inherent to all electrical work with low and high voltage equipment, and almost every worksite today presents some form of potential electrical hazard. This makes it critical that anyone involved in activities such as installation, inspection, operation, maintenance, and demolition of electrical equipment and electrical conductors knows how to work safely with and around it. ESTS is about understanding the hazards of electricity and learning how to mitigate them or reduce risk. Throughout this training program, we'll illustrate the electrical hazards you may encounter on the job and safety concepts used to eliminate exposure or reduce risk when you have to work with energized electrical equipment. ESTS provides electrical safety training for electrical equipment operating at low voltages less than 750 volts or high voltages greater than 750 volts, such as 4,160 volt or 13,800 volt. You'll become familiar with preventive and protective risk control methods that can be applied against electrical hazards to reduce risk and the principles that will help you work safe. By the end of this training program, you will have a good understanding of the electrical hazards you face at work, how to identify them and the harm that they can cause to you, when you should address electrical hazards and the most effective means to do so, how to plan electrical work tasks safely using a plan, do, check, act philosophy, how to operate within OH&S regulatory obligations, and apply the tools from the CSA Z462 Workplace Electrical Safety Standard. How to establish an electrically safe work condition. How to complete an arc flash risk assessment and shock risk assessment based on the CSA Z462 Standard. How to complete a risk assessment procedure for an energized electrical work task. How to select, pre-use inspect, and check electrical specific PPE, tools, and equipment in the safest manner as well as appropriate care and maintenance requirements. Risks related to energized overhead power lines. What needs to be considered for emergency response, contact release, and electrical incident reporting? During this training, we will use a number of different methods to help you understand the electrical hazards you may be exposed to and how to deal with them, including detailed information about specific work tasks that may expose you to electrical hazards, specific information from the clauses, and specifically Clause 4 in the CSA Z462 Workplace Electrical Safety Standard, such as completing an arc flash risk assessment and shock risk assessment, using a workflow process flowchart for executing planned or reactive work tasks, real-world scenarios to show you how to deal with potential electrical hazards, examples of electrical-specific PPE, tools, and equipment, all of this information is aimed at keeping you safe on the job, so make sure to carefully review what's presented and apply it every time you work with electricity.